newsmakers are talking about it on a closer look with Barry Baker. Sunday mornings at 7 here on 620 AHB. Thunderstorms likely today with a high of 75. Rain ending tonight to the low near 60. Mix of sun and clouds tomorrow with a high of 79. I'm Bill Porch, 94.1, 620 KHB, and now streaming at khbradio.com. KHB Irwin, Serving the tri-state area, you're listening to 620. <laughs> AM Impact on Your Health is sponsored by Dennis J. Courtney, MD, director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002. For Dennis J. Courtney, M.D. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AM Impact on Your Health. AIM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AIM Impact on Your Health is heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. AIM Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, fascinating health topics, and of course, where we do encourage you to call in and join in today. Well, it is a Friday, gloomy Friday as it may be. I understand, by the way, through Bill. It's going to be a real nice weekend. Uh, but it is a typical Friday for us because we're going to call this the get em up out of town version of our show that we normally like to bring you on Friday. Allowing you to come on in at any moment and set the agenda around here as you see it. Could be something we talked about recently. Could be something we've never talked about at all. You decide. You bring it to our attention. If it's the form of a question and I don't know the answer, my listeners either know it or know where to find it, and usually within the next call or two, the uh, result that you're looking for will be present, presented to you in a pretty fine fashion. Uh, anything on your mind is okay with me? You're going to give us a call at 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262. You call. Bill Knox. I let you in the store, and we take it from there. Now, uh, we have just finished, and uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time this morning, the first three-day treatment seminar for eye disorders, a la Dr. Edward Kondrat, the famous ophthalmologist who initiated these programs. We're really excited with our results. In fact, so excited, we're going to bring one of the participants with you right after our first break to give him an opportunity to explain, well, what he thought maybe was going to happen, what actually happened. Uh, how happy he is about those changes that have occurred, if any, we'll let him tell you. Uh, so our good friend Eugene is going to be coming aboard here in the next few minutes. You want to pay attention, especially if you do have any eye condition yourself or if you know someone who does and is just losing their vision at such a high rate and nothing seems to be able to be done about it. In fact, even more depressing, the doctors whom you trust so much have told you, in fact, that nothing can be done about it, and that's a rough hit to take. So uh, we're going to spend a few moments this morning allowing uh, our participant to explain how things went at that first eye treatment seminar, the three-day, and get you prepared, by the way, for the up and coming. we got another one coming up here in the month of September, September 16, 17, and 18. If you think you'd like to be involved, you got to identify yourself. you got to give us a call at 724-942-3002. Allow us to get you at least a uh, on our radar screen, and then let you go on out. You've got to get those records. You're going to have to get uh, all of your medical records. I'm talking about from your um, uh, from your primary care doctor, from, from your eye doctors, whether that's ophthalmologist or optometrist, whatever records you've accrued over as many years as you've had your condition, uh, we'd like to get a copy of those so we can get those off to Dr. Condra to be involved with your particular case. And then we have to have a fresh exam, exam done in the last three months. Your doc or mine, uh, if it's your doc, you can arrange for it. If it's mine, uh, we can arrange for you to see uh, Dr. Lisa. We had her on the show, and she's done a great job up to now in doing evaluations. We're able to get patients in relatively rapidly. So we're real tickled that uh, our first 
eye treatment seminar has concluded. I'm anxious to share my results with you and we'll allow one of the participants to do it. That's going to be first up on our agenda. And then after we take a break, after that first segment with Eugene, then we are truly going to open it up to you for any of the reasons you may deem necessary. The number to do it, 412-825-6262. And don't forget the easy supplementation regime we've launched here in the last few weeks. Uh, it's just been very specific now, nothing vague. Used to be vague. Used to be vague because I was not happy with any entrant uh, brought to me by any company with respect to putting my reputation behind that label. Certainly never um, intended on my own to have my own privately labeled stuff. No, I was looking for something out there that would work better than anything else. And I think I found it. Um, and I think it, it just covers a lot of, uh, of the rough edges of anybody's individual programs. If you're going to follow the rule of ones, now here's what we mean by that. The first product, F3, of a three product regime. That's what I think is all you need to take is a general supplemental regime, no matter how ill or how healthy you may be, it all starts with the basics. The basics consist of three things. Um, uh, the first of these is F3. That's our six in one. Remember, they're going to follow the rules of ones. That's our six-in-one product, six categories of supplements, all represented in sufficient quantities of all six of these categories. What are those categories? Well, multivitamin, check that one off. All the uh, vitamins you can expect. By the way, these are all plant-derived. They're organic plant-derived. They're found in algae, in a particular group of algae uh, that's been patented by uh, Dr. Michael Kiriak. We first learned of this product called F3 about three years ago. Speaking of years, that, that's a ring to it. Um, anyway, uh, through Dr. Roland Thomas, and we actually did bring Dr. Michael Kiriak on the show, but I'll tell you, uh, I wonder how his English is. He literally had to have translations going on there. A the man whose native tongue was Russian, who then learned French, was just at the cusp of learning English, and it was a rough show, but I appreciated him so much that he did come aboard. Anyway, the six categories represented in the F3 algae collections are a multivitamin, all the macro minerals, that includes calcium, magnesium, potassium, and the like. Then, here's a rare one, all of the trace minerals are found in the F3 products with those three algaes. Um, and then all the essential fatty acids. These are plant-derived fatty acids. All the omega-3s, all the omega-6s, they're in there. Then, another category, category number five, all the enzymes that you need to help digest foods are found in this very supplement. And then finally, the last of the six categories, antioxidant, uh, bar none the best. Why the best? Because as we now know, uh, astaxanthin is the best antioxidant. And one of the three algaes used in the F3 product the three algaes, by the way, are spirulina, uh, donianella, salina, and this third one, hematococcus pluvialis. Big technical Latin names, I guess. And uh, But uh, the hematococcus pluvialis, the red algae, is red because of carotenoid found within the algae. The carotenoid has a name. It's called astaxanthin. It is by far the best of all antioxidants. It's contained right in the very mixture that you're going to be taking. So as I say, all six categories are represented in one product. You can't do any better. I've searched high and low, and I can't find any better. And so I've now announced it to you. Please take my recommendation as you might. Uh, if you would like to, um, if you have trusted me for all these years now, um, I was reluctant to come in with a product, but of course now I'm very proud to do so. Um, so, the rule of ones. The first one was six in one, and you now know what six in one means. The second rule of ones is four, two, one, and you know what that means. When it comes to the essential fatty acids, yes, they are contained in the algae. They're found in that mixture in the F3, but they are not in that four to one ratio. So, we don't use fish oil around here. Remember me, the guy who ruined it? <laughs> I say that the supplement that you must take to get the right proportion 
of the essential fatty acids. It's called four to one. Well, only one company makes it. The company's called Body Bio. Uh, and the representative fats of these categories of omega-6s and omega-3s, and that ratio of four to one are linoleic to alpha linolenic. Linoleic component is safflower oil and primrose oil. That's the omega-6 that has to be present four times greater quantity in the omega-6 category than the omega-3. And in the omega-3 category, the alpha linolenic category, the two representatives are flaxseed oil and chia oil. These two um, are the omega-3 representatives in all four of those oils in a ratio of four to one of omega-6s to omega-3s um, are from organic sources. They are plant-based. Uh, they have no rancidity issues. They just keep coming across with the building blocks. That's what you need, the building blocks. And primrose and safflower, flax and chia are building blocks. You can make every other omega-6, 3, and 9 that you need from those. And uh, that's why I think it's a, it's a signature product. It's one of a kind. Now, back to the rule of one. So the first one was six in one. Those six categories represented one product. The second product was four to one. Now, the third product is just a one. Of course, I'm talking about astaxanthin. With the amount of oxidation that occurs in our bodies in any given day because of the exposure, well, just to the atmosphere that we walk in and live in, we have a need for high potency antioxidation, and we now know that astaxanthin provides that to a level that no other product does. Astaxanthin, that product, that carotenoid extracted by Nutrex Hawaii, the name of the company we utilize, um, found out there in Hawaii, they grow the stuff, they grow the hematococcus pluvialis. They then extract the astaxanthin from the hematococcus algae, and then they purify it and concentrate it and put it in capsule form. We happen to have a 12 milligram dose that we offer here for you. One 12 milligram dose a day. One capsule a day is all you need. And with that one capsule, 12 milligrams of astaxanthin, you are provided with the equivalency of 72,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which is a pretty good antioxidant itself, but as you can see, nowhere near as potent as the one which is astaxanthin. So the rule of ones. The first one, six in one. That's the F3 product. The second, four to one. Hey, that's the name of the oil itself. And then finally, the one, the only of the big boys on the block, the antioxidant of astaxanthin. That is it made easy. So if that breakfast nook of yours looks a little crowded with all your supplements laying on top of it, or how about this? Do you have your supplements in a shopping bag? Or, geez, what's even worse, do you have your supplements in multiple shopping bags? If that's the case, you got to clean that up. Clean up the breakfast nook. Get rid of the bags. All you need is three products up there as a starter. And, of course, there can be others added to it based on your own health history and what you may need. Give you an idea, for instance, if you're a Pittsburgher, you got to add vitamin D to this. There's not enough vitamin D found in any of these products to give you what you need. You're going to have to bring in a vitamin D product. And about 10,000 units a day for well up to a year to hit the maximum levels around 90. Get the idea now? So the basics are what the basics are. And then you have to supplement individually for things over and above it. But uh, pretty clear now about what products to use. Uh, they're available here. Give us a call, 724-942-3002. Give us a call if you're interested in participating in the next eye treatment program, September 16th. 17 and 18. Also, too, if you're interested in pursuing LDA, you've heard so much about it, check me out at drschrader.com as, as far as what LDA is all about. And then head to my website at djcmd.com. Go to the archives of the previous radio shows and dial up. Scroll down and dial up. November 2012, we have uh, three guests that month, Dr. Schrader himself, on the 2nd of November, uh, John Wyckoff, a physician in Lansing, Michigan, on the 
it's the uh, 9th of November and the 16th and 30th, Dr. Kathleen Janelle, an expert in GI problems. That's all there on the website. MCG testing too, you can give us a call here either uh, to receive it at our McMurray office or our Monroe office. Uh, and for this three minute test, we'll get a pretty good idea, of, well, 91% accurate idea of what the status of the blood vessels that go to your heart, the coronaries are, as well as the um, status of the heart itself. 116 different data points are measured and assessed, giving, giving us this 91% accuracy component. And we'll pretty much let it go at that. Why don't we do this, folks? We're going to take a short break. And in the interim, I'm going to go find a participant in our most recent, our first, our number one eye treatment seminar, three-day came to us with certain vision issues, we'll let him explain it, um, was kicking this around for a while and then just leapt on it, folks, and we'll let him tell you how well he did over the three days. Be right back in a moment with Eugene. This is Dennis Shea Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, M.D., is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Always feeling tired, stressed? Do you turn to food to feel better and still wind up tired, stressed, and overweight? We at Avenue to Wellness can help. Using medications and nutritional supplements, we can help you control your appetite, relieve your stress, and give you the energy to enjoy life. These are powerful medications and supplements that only a doctor can prescribe. Dr. Sherman at Avenue to Wellness can create a plan that works best for you. Call 412-646-1063 for a free computerized evaluation. Stop suffering and give yourself the gift of happiness. 412 646-1063. Start on the path to more energy and less stress. 412-646-1063. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Right here in KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you on a, yes, it is a Friday version of the show. It is a get up out of, out of town version, and we're going to let you come on in here in just a moment and set whatever agenda you would like. I thought, however, that we would spend a little special time this morning uh, talking to some special people, one in particular, who was involved with our most recent foray into the realm of eye treatment programs our three-day treatment seminar that had literally been invented and perfected by Dr. Edward Kondrat has now concluded. It was in my office Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. The participants came in with all sorts of issues. You'll see what I mean by just one of the representatives, and not a particular eye history of his. And then three days later, we found out that they, well, I'll let them say. I won't even begin to talk about it, but I will tell you this. I'm really excited about the results and so excited I just had to bring our good friend Eugene with us this morning to ask him to share with you some of the things he had been going through and what, where he stands right now with respect to his eye problems. Let's say good morning and welcome aboard. Eugene, thank you for allowing me to, allowing me to invade your morning. Uh, good morning, Dr. Courtney and uh, listeners uh, out there in Radio Land. Well, I know you are a frequent listener of the show anyway, so it's really not much of an effort for you to, to bring you on the show because you're always listening to it, whether you're in the car or at home. Um, 
but Eugene, I want to spend a couple of moments to try to get our listeners to a point that maybe they can empathize and, 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 and identify with your particular situation. Um, how old are you, Eugene? I'm not, I'll be 73 in September. Okay, 73-year-old male, ladies and gentlemen. Who, um, how long ago, Eugene, were eye issues brought to your attention as one of your medical problems? When were you diagnosed as having some vision problem? What was the diagnosis? And what were you told about the diagnosis once it was made? Well, December of last year, 2012, uh, I woke up one morning and there was a black spot, like as if there was a speck of uh, dirt, like on your uh, um, in your eye. Okay. But it was in the line of vision, so uh, of course I was very concerned. And uh, uh, one thing about my doctor, uh, the ophthalmologist, if you call him up and there's an emergency, he'll get you in the same day, which I was pleased with. And uh, he, after uh, going through a series of tests, he uh, diagnosed this uh, diagnosis that there's. Um, of bleeding uh, capillaries, and he said I had the wet form of uh, AMD, uh, AMRD, macular degeneration. AIMD, folks, age-related macular degeneration, the number one robber of vision as we age. So, um, Eugene, to the extent that this is a very common diagnosis confronted by many, in fact, of the three biggies, um, uh, meaning um, macular degeneration, glaucoma, and cataracts, this is the one that is the most devastating and most frequent in number, unfortunately. Um, what were you told about your disease by your ophthalmologist at the time? Well, you know, you're right about the, uh, being a, a terrible disease because I think that's one of the things that you don't want to hear from a doctor and it'll knock, knock your socks off that you have uh, macular degeneration. And actually, he just told me he'd, he'd like to see me in three weeks and there was really nothing he could do. He just wanted to see if they... Uh, Bleeding would stop on its own, or maybe he'd have to do some treatments, which would be eye shots, which which I uh, I fringed on. But anyway, uh, I waited three weeks, and I went back, and uh, it, it was still the same. So he 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 practically told me, like within six months, that uh, I would probably lose my vision in that eye. Goodness uh, gracious! What a terrible thing to hear. It, yeah. And in the same breath as in telling you, and, and and I know the doctors involved here. So um, I mean, I, I know that they don't really emotional creature sometimes, but when you're told, look, you've got this visual problem, uh, and you're going to lose your vision in that eye in probably, did you say, three months? Uh, six months. Six said, months. Six months yeah. And there's not a doggone thing I can do about it. How depressed does one get? What did the, how'd that feel? Like a punch in the gut? Oh, yes. Like I said, that's enough to knock your socks off. There's only a few other diseases that you could uh, uh, get that, uh, you know, it really... Equally... Yeah. Pack the wall up that that yeah, one did. You with a sledgehammer like <clears throat> that, yeah. So there you were. Um, I'm imagining the press is all get out. Uh, literally uh, less than a year ago, that it's December of 2012. Um, what did you decide to do about that? Because you know it wasn't too far along after that that we end up meeting. Because well, let me ask you, what was it that you were pursuing? Um, it looks as though you didn't take the doctor's word just sitting down and lying down and waiting for the inevitable to happen. What did you decide to do about it? Well, I was glad that I do listen to this uh, uh, 620 KHB, and, and, I, and I was glad that you were on that day that I, I listened, and, and you were talking about that ECP treatment. Yes, I and do. That, Frequently talk about it. Yes, and I, I, I didn't know anything about it, so I, I researched it on uh, the Internet, and I found out a lot of uh, interesting uh, things about it, and I, I thought that was one of the treatments that might help me, being that uh, it promotes the uh, growth of uh, new uh, blood vessels. Exactly right. Uh, in macular degeneration, the number of blood vessels literally dries up and withers away. The few blood vessels that are left behind can leak sometimes, and that's where we get the diagnosis of wet macular degeneration as opposed to, as opposed to the most common form of it, which is the dry. But you had the wet. You have ultimately did actually get injections to stop bleeding in the back of your eye at least once or twice, two different times? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I did. Okay, yeah. so I can understand why the injections were given. That is the only treatment, really, that is available from an ophthalmologist. And unfortunately, all it is is to lessen the rapidity with which you lose your vision. It does nothing to restore vision that's already lost. Is that fair enough, that, Seth? That's correct. That's, you're right about that. 
Now, that was interesting that while well, listening to one of our shows, and, and you listen to the KSB lineup of doctors, I frequently do talk about ECP, and I don't talk enough about what I've seen over the course of years. I don't know if I mentioned it on the day you were listening to it back then, Eugene, but I can tell you um, that almost as an anecdotal uh, mention from patients, as they leave their 35 treatments, I always ask them on an exit interview, hey, how did the ECP treatment go for you? And I'm very used to hearing patients tell me about how they felt their energy returned and how good their legs feel and how they feel like they can exercise and go to greater distances than they ever had before. But I'll tell you what, I'm equally used to hearing patients say to me, uh, you know what, I think my vision actually got better while I was doing ECP. And I have to tell you that when I was told this by patients over these many years, I put that aside. I made an anecdotal record, but I didn't go any further than that. I said, that's very nice. I'm glad to hear your vision feels that you feel like it's improved. But I was interested in hearing about their heart and blood vessel issues. I didn't pay attention to the eye. Had you heard me make comments about the eye? Uh, not really. I, I didn't. But I've seen the, uh, the effects of ECP on me, myself, you know, and I, I can tell you two things happened to me. Oh, yeah. So you, you decided on your own that you were going to pursue ECP. You came to me, mentioned that you wanted to do it, and you did mention that you had an eye condition. And then it was probably then that I said, oh, Eugene, i got to tell you about these people that do ECP. Their vision can improve and usually does. Uh, and so with that being mentioned to you, you went about your 35 treatments. Would you tell our listeners at that time when you did ECP alone, how did you feel that you were benefited, if at all, by doing the ECP? Well, I was ben benefited very much. Uh, first of all, the black speck that I had in my eye, which I couldn't see through, uh, turned gray, and it was like uh, visible through it. In other words, I could see, see it through it still yet, again, uh, again rather, uh, whereas before I couldn't see through it at all. It was just like holding your hand in front of your eye. Uh -huh. so now I could see through that eye. Plus, uh, another benefit uh, my uh, prescription glasses, I didn't, I couldn't use anymore for driving. I had to go down and buy a dollar pair of glasses at the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, drugstore to, to drive with. Your vision improved so much uh, that yes, you had to change eyes. prescriptions on your own? Yes, yes I did. Wow. So, and then, uh, you know, of course, I'm uh, doing some other uh, treatments uh, at your office, which uh, I think you're the only one in this area that does it. We do chelation therapy to help clear up blood vessels too, and I yes, know you do that. Right. And so between the combination of chelation and ECP, you had come a long way, wouldn't you say, Eugene? Well, very much so, yes, sir. Um, still, as you should be, and certainly you were, you weren't completely happy with where you were. You saw yourself improving. You knew that what you were doing was right. But you had mentioned a long time ago, look, I'm waiting for you to offer that doggone three-day treatment program how had you heard about it? What intrigued you about it that said that you said to yourself, and I know you had to say it this way, I'm going to do that program the first shot I have? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, I I've, uh, I sent away for Dr. Conjit's book, uh, Healing the Eye. Okay. And I read about it, and uh, I, I was uh, hesitant about uh, traveling to uh, Florida to, uh, uh, you know, make that trip. And, and um, so I, when I heard that you were going to do the, uh, have the three-day uh, treatment plan, I was ecstatic. And, uh, you know, I told you at first, I said, I want to be one of your first uh, patients. Yeah, you said you were going to so, be in the first group. Yeah, in the first group. So, And I was, and uh, I'm glad I did do it. Well, I, you know, the Dr. Conrad program uh, sort of baffles many because uh, you're so used to hearing bad news from their, their very intelligent, I'm sure very competent, regular ophthalmologists, but they're trained in a certain way. They don't have anything about nutrition or oxidative therapies or chelation or anything like in, the, in their training, anything like that in their training. And so they never pursued treatments of the type that Ed put together in his three-day treatment program, which you just completed. So, yes, you did look for the opportunity to be involved in the first program. You were in that first group. And um, I will have to be honest with you. I didn't really know in your case, well, I didn't know in any of those participants' cases how this was going to turn out. You know, every time I've ever been involved with these three-day programs, it was always with Ed right here in the building 
right here in the room, and his, his results were always excellent. And until you actually do a program on your own, you're never really quite sure whether you're going to get the same results. So I had a bit of anxiety myself about how this was going to turn out. But as you well know, the format went something like this. On day one, first thing, we took you back in the room and examined your eyes to find out what your visual acuity, your contrast, and your visual fields were on day one. And then we went through three days of intense and aggressive modalities. And then the last thing we did on the last day was to retest you again. Now, I'll let you um, tell our listeners how did that go? Because obviously, we're, I'm looking to see, is there any improvement in somebody's vision in a shorter period of time as three days when confronted with diseases that their doctors tell them there's nothing that can be done? Eugene, I'll let you take it. How did things go for you the three days versus when you began and when you left? Uh, well, uh, you know, what I really had in mind was just to prevent the other eye from uh, being inflicted. That's all uh, you wanted to do. <laughs> yes, that was all I, and that, that's all I, I would have been satisfied with. Because in Dr. Condra's book, he, he uh, states that if one eye is afflicted, then more likely down the road the other eye will be afflicted. So I never uh, realized or visualized that, uh, you know, not only did I improve my good eye, but uh, the, the bad eye was uh, very much improved. Very much improved. Yeah. I think you gained, folks, this is phenomenal, and I can share it with you, with your permission, right, Gene? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, no, um, on the acuity side, I think you gained two and a half lines. Yes. Two and a half lines on the eye chart. You know that chart, ladies and gentlemen, that you're so used to, with the E on it? You know that one that you go in and your, your doctor's been testing your vision for years? To, to jump a line would be amazing enough uh, over a year. But to jump two and a half lines, Eugene, in three days is, well, it, you talk about my anxiety level so going away. Right. Okay, because yeah. I, I felt... How aesthetic I was in the office. When I oh, God. Yeah. We, we were both pretty much uh, patting each other on the yeah, back. Yeah, you know, and another thing, too, I was glad I was in that 92% range that, that Dr. Conjured always talks about. Yeah, that. the 92% that actually um, get improvement yeah. and the 8% that don't. Um, yeah, you absolutely were in the 92% big time. You were in the top echelons of the 92%, meaning you know some people may get a gain in that 92% of a letter or two. But when you jump two and a half lines on the eye chart and your contrast improved, I think by was it five letters? I'm not. Uh, I, I can't remember. But I can't I, remember. But you did. You did gain on the contrast, and your visual fields really opened up. Which, by the way, in uh, macular degeneration, as you described the first symptom of it, where you woke up one morning and you found a dead spot right in the center of your vision. That is the way that macular degeneration presents itself because you lose your central vision and you maintain for a while your peripheral vision. So somebody with macular degeneration, literally it's common to find them turning their head to the side and sort of looking sideways at you because that's where they have only have the vision that's able to be captured so that they can interpret whatever it is that they want to see because looking straight ahead, they can have with their bad eye, especially the inability to see anything straight ahead. And in the one eye, it looked like that was the way you started, Eugene. And yeah, now, right. here we are. Um, Three-day treatment program is over. Um, I was re equally reluctant about you. I'll share with my listeners because you had already done ECP and chelation therapy. That's unusual to come across someone who already got such good improvement. I was worried that maybe you wouldn't get so much improvement with all the other modalities because it's normal that I re meet somebody for the first time who has never done chelation, who has never done ECP, who sort of comes in here green and we give them all the modalities from the get-go and that's the 92% that I'm used to seeing. In your case, you had already partaken of some of the things that we offer that are rare to find and you got great improvements. And so I was wondering, is Eugene going to show less improvement because of that? And you didn't. In fact, you were the leader of the class. You jumped more behind <laughs> than anybody. And uh, you left feeling pretty doggone good about the whole thing. I had to bring you 
together with us today. Oh, I'm glad that uh, I've been on your show, and I, I want to tell me, listeners, that, that this is like the fountain of youth for eyes, the, uh, the three-day <laughs> plan. If you can do that in three days, just imagine if you continue to follow that protocol, that re regimen, you know. Well, you know that, of course, as you left us on Wednesday, was the instruction given to all the participants that, okay, each of you, and by the way, the other two participants, there were three in this first group, small group as it was, had some fantastic results too. So we didn't hit 92%, we hit 100%. That's right. Everybody we, was, everybody was doing yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. And they're now on a six month glide path with doing the same modalities over the six months that we did in the three days. A little more leisure, some at a pace, but certainly much more in length of time. And in six months, we're going to reevaluate them again and we're going to find out how much more additional improvement you've had over that time frame. So the three day treatment program is nothing more than a sort of a shoving off from the pier, a get started. A, uh, a starter set, uh, but you're right the way you interpret it, Eugene. If you can get this much improvement in three days, just imagine where you can be in six months right. by maintaining it. And you went home and you're doing your microcurrent stimulation every day, and you're going to continue your chelation and oxidation, and, and we're even looking for additional round of ECP. Eugene, I see great things in your future. Are there any final comments you'd like to make? Uh, for our listeners. I'd just like to tell them that, uh, uh, you know, if they have an eye problem, whether it be glaucoma or, or cataracts or uh, a macular degeneration, that uh, to follow your treatment plan would be the best thing, you know, that they can do because uh, uh, I already told you that my doctor said within six months I'd probably lose the vision in that, that eye, and this is the eighth month. This is August now, so. And, and it's improving. So uh, what's that tell you about the treatment? So it we know I sort of laugh when you mentioned your doctor because uh, we don't have to use names, but I certainly know him very well, and he knows me very well. Mm -hmm. And one of his final precautions to you was, you know, Dr. Courtney is not an ophthalmologist. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, they don't understand that uh, uh, out of the I, I know, they're, I they're conventional doctors that don't understand that. So. Well, I'd be very interested next time... Uh, because you still are treated by the gentleman. He will uh, continue to see you. I'm interested to hear what, when he looks in the back of your eye, what changes he sees in the fundus, the back of the eye. And um, I'd be interested to hear his next comments, because I'm going to tell you this. I'll bet you there are visual changes he can see. And he's going to ask you, hey, Eugene, what the heck have you been doing? And you can say, hey, Doctor, you remember that Dr. Courtney that you said wasn't an ophthalmologist? <laughs> That's exactly what I want to tell him, too. You know what guy you said yeah. that uh, he got you about? I, I think he'll just uh, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, think that the shots he gave me, uh, you know, was... Oh, uh, yeah, but he'll probably too. take credit that for your shot. That was six months or four months ago was the last one. So You're right. Well, so. And by the way, if he wants to take credit, for your improvements based on the shots, just let him go. Yeah, yeah, you know. Just uh, let him go. It's okay. Well, you and I know. I know. It's right. And you know. It's right. <laughs> and that's more important. All right, yeah. Eugene. I want to thank you for allowing me to and, and appreciate you sharing your whole experience with us. Uh, there are plenty of people out there listening to us today that can identify with your plight and maybe, just maybe, will be encouraged by what they've heard from you to go ahead and pursue it themselves. I know I'll be seeing you frequently over the next six months, heck, over the next six years, Eugene. Well, I think we, yes, we well. have a bond that we've developed now. And, um, but I'm so happy to see that this was your vision that brought you to me initially and that we are making such strides, such improvements, that I don't know if it's possible to restore your vision to its normal function, but I'm sure going to try like the Dickens to do it. To do it, I'd be satisfied if it just stayed the same, you know, the way it is now. Well, you I, know, I, it's not going to stay. It's no, going to, it's, it's going to get better. You're right. In, in the three days since it improved, I, I know down the road it's going to improve even more. Absolutely. So, all right, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, you're quite well. I'll see you when you're at the office one day in the near future. Okay. Bye now. You take care now. Okay. Bye now. There you have it, folks. Uh, the uh, assessment of how well he did for the first eye treatment program. Um, I, as I said, this thing about um, how are my results going to be um, when I was doing this program on my own, I felt very good 
about uh, what happened to those who participated in group number one. I'm looking forward to getting a chance to work with group number two. And um, you just might want to be in that group if you want to do or find out more. Uh, I tell you what, uh, for right now, our website will probably be up within the week uh, here at what we call ourselves the Pittsburgh Eye Protocol. Until then, you can go right now to Dr. Ed Kondrat's website at healingtheeye.com. And he has quite an extensively well put together website with videos and DVDs and testimonials and the like. And so you don't have to wait for information. Just head to the computer at healingtheeye.com and enjoy it. And then call us to schedule some time to come in to see us. Okay, take a short break. When we come back, we literally open it up to you. Find out what's on your mind. 412-825-6262 is the number. That's 412-825-6262. It's open phones when we can return. cannot lose those pounds. Dr. Sherman and her staff will help you get rid of those pounds and keep them off. Dr. Sherman uses the latest advances in medications and meal replacements. No surgery, no fats. You will lose those pounds. Dr. Courtney, oh yeah. I think we need to maybe check your system. There's no reason for a guy who's, you know, a local call 724. Is that trouble hearing him? Yeah, and I think it's all there's a volume problem with your hookup to us ah. because you can hear him, but for some reason that's not getting through properly. Yeah, I'm hearing him normal. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking, that you're hearing him, but we're not get I knew we really had a problem because we never have a problem with Susan Smith-Jones, and we were on Wednesday. Uh, and so there's some reason why it's just it drops out. You, know, you can hear him, drops out, hear him, drops out. And we were having that problem, you know, with... I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to at least do. I'm going to go find another two-line phone from another company, and and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug it in. And, I can always and, we can, and you can test it. You know, we can do it off the air if you want to test it uh, before your next guest. Could you tell, in other words, if I'm... When I'm um, in other words, I'd have to get another person and bring them in, and we could do it. Yeah, like yeah. do a hook, like a mock yeah. hookup. And we okay. can do it off the air. Okay, we'll absolutely do it because we can't continue if it's going right. to be my exactly. piece of it. Exactly. So, okay. All right, we're coming back. All Hold right. on. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Heard here in KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you today on a Friday version of the show. It is now deemed by me to be a get em up out of town version of the show. You can come on in. At any moment, and set the agenda around here. And I'm going to do that is a 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262. We do have a caller. Come on in the store. Hello, and welcome aboard. What's on your mind? Hello, Dr. Courtney. Yes. Uh, I could hardly understand what your guest was saying. Oh, I, I understand through Bill that uh, there was a sound problem, and I think it's my equipment. Um, and I'm going to promise you, I'll get it rectified. Um, um, I don't know what you're able to get. I was hearing the gentleman loud and clear as I was speaking to him, but Bill tells me there was really a drop-off here when it came to the actual airing of, of what that conversation was all about. Well, I heard you say that he had a two-line improvement. Two and a half lines improvement. Yeah. Um, three, days, three days. In three days. What would that cost? Pardon me. Uh, well, our our fee for it is as long as a, it's it's around sixty-five hundred dollars for the three days. $6,500. Mm -hmm. Insurance don't cover that, right? We'll not cover it because you know what we're using? We're not using medicines. We're using nutrition and, uh, and oxidative therapies and the like, and uh, there's no coverage for that in the um, alternative world. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, absolutely. Uh, and that is true, by the way. Um, sorry about the, the, the quality. Bill and I have decided that we'll make a... Um, uh, adjustment in the equipment here. We're going to do some testing. Um, I'm anxious to hear from Bill how uh, this all sounds whenever somebody calls him and then comes through to me. I'm going to guess that it works better. Maybe in the interim we can we can do that to make sure that we don't have such a drop off anymore. Anyway, uh, you can call in and I can hear you loud and clear and hopefully you all can hear one another loud and clear. 412 
8256262 is the number. That's 412-825-6262. And uh, for those of you who have difficulty hearing, our guest today, Eugene, was one of the participants in the three-day program that uh, we just completed. Uh, a very intense and aggressive program, utilizing nothing but alternative therapies. No drugs, no injections, no surgeries. Strictly alternative means and measures, homeopathic, oxidative, hydrogen peroxide, um, uh, nutritive uh, intravenous uh, uh, infusions, Myers cocktails, <clears throat> microcurrent stimulation, a steady diet of those over three days, and, and two and a half line change, in Eugene's case, and the other participants had equally very close to that in terms of their improvement. So uh, we're just proud as all get out to see that our results are as uh, they would be if Dr. Ed himself were here. Actually, truth be told, even when he was here, we were doing all the same therapies. We were doing them out here in the other rooms while Ed was back there assessing them in the eye room. And so essentially I have been doing these treatments for the last six years. Uh, but this is the first time we've done them with it, not in the room at all. And as also the listener had pointed out, that uh, rather than going down, and one can go directly to Dr. Condra down at his base of operations, just north of Tampa, Florida, in a city called Dade City. He does treat down there <clears throat> on the premises of his compound, one group a month. Uh, and uh, you can also be under his immediate direction rather than mine, if that's your choice. Of course, our listener wanted to do it locally and not less expensive for him to do it that way, and we're happy to be able to bring it to you. So if you have any interest in the eye program, uh, we're trying to conduct these eye programs at least one a month um, from this point forward. Uh, we do have a September program that is scheduled that is going to be for the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Give us a call one and, and identify yourself and uh, let's get your vision turned around too. We've opened it up to you. 412-825-6262 is the number to get on in here. That's 412-825-6262. Now I wanted to share because as you well know by now I'm out there looking at the literature each and every day. So while uh, you're deciding on whether to come on in here and we do have about uh, uh, 10 to 12 minutes left to go easily uh, able to answer a few of your questions. Um, I came across a couple of things. I happen to be plugged into a website that literally presents all the papers in the world that are published in the last 24 hours. So I, I'm always able to check what the most recent research is that they're releasing to the various journals that flood doctors offices and, uh, and the like. Uh, this one here, this is dated August 6th, you know, I say every day. Uh, today being August 9th, this is only three days old. This comes out of the American Journal of Preventative Medicine, and it really is the, one of the first times I've seen analyzed uh, the benefit that exercise plays in preventing diabetes. Now, this was easy enough done because this uh, data uh, was analyzed from a survey of 24,000 people of the United Kingdom. And it looked at various indicators and how people uh, and how people traveled to work, various versus various disease states that afflict the general population. The point was this: that if you would park your car just a little further from where you're traditionally used to parking it, making you walk a bit more. Now they didn't specify how much more, but I think you got the idea here. Uh, park your car far enough away that you have a little bit of a walk to work and from work because the benefit to you is amazing. You park your car a little further and walk and those that walked that additional amount of uh, distance had a 40% less likely chance to get diabetes. Are you kidding me? So don't pull up to the curb <laughs> right in front of the office. Park it a few blocks away and walk it. Hey, on a bad day, it's okay to pull up close, but a 40% decrease. 19% of the workers who got to work by car, motoring, or taxi 
also had an increase in obesity compared to only 15% who walked and 13% who cycled. Those who cycled, by the way, bicycling, I know it's a little crazy here in the Pittsburgh area, uh, uh, although I have known a couple of doctors that actually cycled when I was <laughs> in a hospital. A couple of my doctors actually uh, cycled to work, and it was like seven miles away. Uh, that's walking the walk and talking the talk. 50% less for those who cycle to work rather than drive when it comes to diabetes. Pretty interesting study, was it not? Hey, we have a knock on the door. Come on in the store. Hello, welcome aboard. What's on your mind? Go right ahead. Morning, Dr. Courtney. Yes. Uh, Dr. Schrader, I, I gave this information to a friend of mine. He checked out the computer. He says he types up, he types in drschrader.com. About a dozen Dr. Schraders come up. Oh, there's only one. If you have to, you have to do it this way. The doctor is dr without a period at the end of it, and then the Schrader is s h r a d e r. When typed that way, Dr. Schrader.com, there's only one thing that comes up. So be careful how you're entering it because you could write doctor spelling out the word doctor, D O C T O R. You could write the word doctor putting a period behind the doctor. You could write Schrader, S C H R A D E R. And any one of those, I, I have no idea where you would end up. But I've dialed this website up enough myself to know that if you dial up, drschrader.com and the doctor is dr without a period and the schrader is s h r a d e r there's only one website that will appear there won't be any confusion okay is, is there a part do you have a first name william dr william butch schrader butch in quotation marks is his nickname and his office that is located on top of the when you open up the opening page is in santa fe new mexico so that's how you know. Hey, Doctor, uh, Trichostatin A, have you ever heard of that the drug? What's it called? It's a statin drug? Well, Trichostatin A, it, it says it's supposed to remove, remove methyl groups from uh, the index of your DNA. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm not familiar with Trichostatin, um, what do you call it? Trichostatin, um, Trichostatin A. Trichostatin A. Uh, the statin threw me a bit for a loop. I thought it was one of the statin drugs. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know why you want to remove methyl groups from DNA. I don't want to mess with DNA at all myself. Uh, but an interesting article in May's Discover magazine about uh, basically about uh, depression and anxiety, uh, and they were talking about how uh, methyl groups attach to your DNA and your basically in your brain and create a lot of uh, <laughs> methyl problems. I guess really methylation problems. Yeah. Um, I'm unfamiliar, and so this trichostatin A is supposed to be beneficial to you by removing methyl groups in order to make your brain function better? Am I getting the right message from you as to what this is supposed to do? Yes, apparently there's those studies, or are ongoing studies from, uh, from the University of Montreal and another doctor on from Duke University, and they were claiming that the, uh, the, uh, the trichostatin A helps remove methyl groups that are attaching to your DNAs and causing problems. Well, let's say the trichostatin A has a ring to it as though it's a pharmaceutical substance, it a is. synthetic substance made in a lab that right off the bat, just from our approach here, is something that we probably want to avoid because it's a Franken molecule. Anytime there's a drug that's literally being invented, even though there are great things that they envision that this drug will be able to do, we've learned through the 100 year history of these drugs that they're going to be there's going to be a side effect profile as long as both of your arms of the harm that it will cause because anytime you bring a unique molecule a one of a kind molecule to the marketplace and let patients literally countrywide or worldwide get into you know the hundreds of thousands you're going to find the problems later on so i'm going to say there's a way of dealing with methyl groups that don't involve these uh, harsh chemicals, these pharmaceutical substances, and that will be where I start, even though the concept of, you know, that's interesting that the pathophysiology of, of someone who takes antidepressant drugs is they have methyl groups that glom on the DNA, if I heard you right, okay? Correct. And by removing them, you are benefited. 
Well, I'm going to guess there's another way of doing it that doesn't require the use of a Franken molecule. And uh, although I'll find out more about trico what trico something trico statin a trico statin a. Um, I'll Google it up. I'm writing it down right now, and uh, I'll find out more about it trico statin a, and uh, I will report back. Okay. Yeah, it was interesting in the article it stated that many people's uh, diet create methylation in the body itself. Now, the only time methylation, and by the way, um, because there are people who have difficulty with methylation uh, that we diagnose all the time. I don't know if you can recall me mentioning that 60% uh, of the population has a methylation problem and as such they are predisposed to having an elevation in homocysteine. Have you heard that before? Have you ever mentioned it? That's the pathology behind how homocysteine levels are high in some people and in other people they're not. So that is a methylation problem. Well, um, we use B12, B6, and folic acid to fix that problem, and it literally goes away. So I'm not saying that uh, folic acid might be the treatment for this too, but I will say with methylation issues, we already know that, a, that it is not good not to be able to methylate, and maybe the methyl groups go someplace else and glom onto the DNA, but they're not able to help you convert homocysteine into the next thing in the metabolic pathway. I don't want to get down in the weeds with this, but except to say there are other metabolic issues that are treated by natural substances that allow us to correct methylation problems without using pharmaceuticals. And there is the problem that one of a kind molecule will bite you in the butt before it's all over with and you know it. Does L methylfolate introduce methylation to the body then or is it clearing it out? Uh, L methylfolate enables you to methylate. The problem in people who have uh, homocysteine accumulation is that they lack a gene called the MTHFR, a methylation gene, okay? And so in people who lack um, the capability of methylating because of a genetic disorder, their genetic order disorder can be compensated for. You don't correct it. Once you have a problem with homocysteine, unless you are correcting for it every day, you will never be able to fix that. That's genetic, but you can compensate for it, and uh, that's one just easy way to do it. Thank you very much for your question, by the way. Thanks, Doc. Okay, we got bongos in the background signaling our time out of here. Yes, it's gloomy today, but you know what? It's supposed to be really great tomorrow. I'll see you on Monday, so until then, this is Dr. Dennis Courtney saying so long for AIM Impact on Your Health.